Welcome guys to my little tutorial how to paint rusty metal like this nice base here. Um, first thing is prime your surface black. Alright guys, here is the black prime base. Everything is nice, dry and settled down. Next step will be to give this base a heavy dry brush with a darker metal color. I personally use the bolt gun metal from GW. These colors doesn't uh, exist anymore so you have to buy, I don't know, and, uh, the, the new GW colors or Vallejo color or P3 color or Reaper colors whatever you want just make sure that is that it is a a little bit a darker matter not this not this heavy silver thing here just a little bit a darker a metal color and give this thing a heavy dry brush um, what does a dry brush means it's just um, Take some some uh, metal color here on this on a brush like this, and wrap the brush over the surface. I show you this now. Just take the color and wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it on this one just until there is. Um, uh, only a little bit of color on your brush so I think that's fine yeah that's okay so you see like this and then just rub it over your base and then you can see ah uh, there you got some little colors and do this now all over the place and make make two or three layers of this and then everything will be fine just your color will be up. rub it on your tower paper tower is the best for this and yeah there it is very nice so and go over the base Give it a heavy, heavy dry brush. Yeah, a little bit more. And go more. Go, 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 go. Right, perfect. So, it looks like this. Hmm? It looks alright, huh? So, but now we need some highlights. And we take for this our silver color. This is a Mithra silver, a very old color. One of my oldest colors. And just do the same. Dry brush it over the darker metal color, but it's very important. Um, dry brush only one layer and just on some parts. So, like here and there, just a little bit. So, like this. Perfect. So, you can see it's a little bit shinier. But this is too shiny for old rusty metal, right? Okay, so what we do now is darken it up. So for this, um, I made a, make a wash with um, with Devlin mud. This is no longer exist. It's a, a wash by Citadel, but you can use the the new washes or you can also use Vallejo washes or P3 washes or I don't know, every wash you can get. Just make sure that it is a, hmm, a dark brown wash, brown, black brown wash. But uh, and fill it up. Don't use it right out of the bottle, just put it on there. Add a little bit of water, then a little bit more water. So, yeah, a little bit. 
perfect so and then go over over the place here so perfect so now we have a, a oily brown shade on our base so and let the whole thing dry completely and then we go on with the next step all right guys now we have this light oily color on here but it is still too um, too shiny so we need to darken it up a little bit more and for this step I use um, a color called gray liner you can see it down there gray liner from Pegasus colors and I find out that the Pegasus colors these ones are the same as Reaper colors so there must be a um, a color in the, in the Reaper range that is the same as the gray liner from Pegasus it's actually a gray ink and I will use this not right out of the bottle I will thin it up with this medium I use the GW one you can also use the uh, Vallejo matte medium this is perfect for this and the uh, um, and you mix it um, one part of the of the ink and three parts of the medium so here we go open it <coughs> And then we make one, two, three, four, five, six. and just bring it together so let's take a look mm, it's okay maybe adding a little bit of water just a little bit yeah so I think that's perfect and then go slightly over the surface of your base and because we use the medium you make yourself a light color so that the oily tone of the Devlin mud or dark or dark brown wash is still there so just give it a heavy wash until it is you've got the tone that you want the dark tone that you want give it a little bit more a little bit less all right I think we are okay with this now just and now let it dry and watch your base after the drying process and if you think it is not dark enough then just um, repeat the step of darkening everything down right so there is <coughs> the darkened upper base and what we need to do now is to paint these rusty spots on the base for the rust color I use dark flesh it's actually a red brown color which you can buy from every <coughs> other company like Reaper, Vallejo, Privateer Press and if this is too reddish for you you can add some some uh, brown tone, some wooden brown tone like a uh, brown or any other color that you want. So, and what we need, what we do now is take our our color here, give a little bit. So that's enough, and thin it up with water heavily. 
So like this. I'll just take a look on my towel if it has the right consistency. Uh, yeah, just a little bit more water. So yeah, that's fine. You see? So that's perfect. And now you paint your rust spots right on your base. Just gently a little bit here. Suck down a little bit of color. Just a little bit. So yeah. So and over there. Just a little bit more in the middle. Sorry guys. So suck it a little bit up with your brush. And over here. So continue the whole process on your base. Just everywhere you want some rust, you paint it on. So and actually that's it. So it looks like So, and what you do now is let the whole thing dry. And after that, you paint up the edges of the base in the color that you want. I personally use black. You can also use a earth tone color or whatever you want. I will let this dry now and um, finish the edges and show you the, the product. All right, guys. There they are, two nice rusty metal plate bases, which you can use for every sci-fi stuff. You can also use this kind of bases for your war machine stuff, if you want. Um, or Space Hulk, um, Project Pandora for Mantic Games, Warhammer 40k, Infinity, Warpath. Um, I don't know what other games out there. Uh, a lot of, a lot of. Just look around. You can use this for every sci-fi or steampunk setting. I hope you like this tutorial, and please comment, like, or subscribe. Everything is welcome and awesome. Thank you guys for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye bye.